Hello, everyone, and welcome to Holy Cross Church in Santa Cruz. As many of you know, I'm Father Martin Kane, pastor of the parish. And this weekend, for the first time since we began our live streaming masses, I will not be a part of today's English language mass because I've been asked to participate in a, a radio call-in show. And so Father Jonathan Carmona, our new parochial vicar, will be presiding along with Deacon Joe DePage. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you all, and in a special way this weekend, I wanted to say hello to all of the mothers in our parish community and those watching us from around the world. Happy Mother's Day. I hope it is a joyous time for you all, even during this time of the coronavirus. May God bless you all this fifth Sunday of Easter. Welcome to the joyous celebration of the fifth Sunday of Easter. We especially welcome all who are watching from around the world. Our presider is Father Jonathan Carmona, assisted by Deacon Joe. Everyone is invited to please join in singing the introit refrain, Sing to God a New Song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This Holy Eucharist, we're going to pray especially for our mothers, living and deceased. And we're going to pray also for doctors, nurses, and caregivers who take care of the sick, especially during this time of the COVID-19. And to help us to prepare to celebrate these holy mysteries, we're going to be sprinkled with the holy water in memory of our baptism. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help Venus his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, be pleased in your faithful love to bless this water that you had created. 
For it was you commanded the prophet Elisha to cast the water that impute might be purified. Grant, O Lord, we pray that whatever this water is sprinkled, attack the enemy may be repulsed, and your Holy Spirit may be present to keep us safe in all times. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God cleanse us for our sins, and through the celebration of this Eucharist, may God's word to share at the table of his kingdom. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray.
Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who listens with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else, Believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. We have just heard Brian read about the calling of the first seven deacons, and so in their footsteps, I call out to you, I call out to my brothers and sisters. Because we have seen the risen Jesus, we have been called to become something more. We are called to be a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own. Now, in spite of our fears and self-doubt, God works powerful things through us, and nothing will stop God's powerful healing love from coming into this world, not even a pandemic. As Jesus takes us together towards Pentecost, He shows us what our lives will be like when he has returned to our Father. Jesus is preparing us for his ascension and for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is like a parent teaching a child how to ride a bike. First, we ride with training wheels and under a watchful gaze. But then we ride with our own courage and strength and balance. The coming Pentecost will be the start of our own growing spiritual authority and maturity and freedom. Think about how much trust God has put into us. But can any of us easily accept what it means 
when Jesus tells us, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do. I think of my own terrible sins and my vanities. And I ask, who am I to do as Jesus has done? And yet this is our faith and our vocation. We are called to bring God's love into the world. Perhaps you too have doubted your own calling. Any one of us can doubt ourselves. But I see what you're doing, Holy Cross. I see that the Holy Spirit moves through this parish. I see those of you who are volunteering in our food pantry. And I see those of you continuing to give donations to this church and to other necessary charities. And I see that you are doing the works of Christ. I see those of you who are trying to balance work while taking care of children, parents, roommates, even your neighbors, and you are doing the works of Christ. You essential workers, Brian, I'm looking at you. You are doing the works of Christ. We are doing the work of Christ when we forgive our enemies, when we pray for them, and when we use this strange, scary time to mend those broken relationships that have hurt us so much. And if we are growing bored or scared or frustrated while we shelter in place, then we need to remember, to remember that by stopping this disease, we are acting in holiness. We are saving lives. And this is what God's love looks like in a pandemic. The coming months will be a challenge. We will need prayer. As the restrictions are slowly loosened and as we begin to adjust to the new normal, we will have to ensure that we continue to act as a people of God's own. As we rebuild our lives, as we rebuild this world, we will need to follow where Jesus leads us. He knows where we are going. He says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Following Jesus, we will continue to find our joy in supporting each other, and we will find our courage in asking help from one another. We are different people now. We have found new priorities in this pandemic. We cannot go back to the failures of division and selfishness and materialism. We cannot return to what Pope Francis has called a throwaway culture. We have learned how precious life is and what we are capable of doing to protect it. We are different people. My Holy Cross family, my prayer in this pandemic is that the seeds that we have planted over the last two months will continue to grow and to produce good fruit. My prayer is that we will be worthy of all the goodness that God has given us in these strange times. My prayer is that we will continue to let the Holy Spirit make us into who we were meant to be, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people of God's own.
Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, the God not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate on the Virgin Mary and became man. For us say he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. Let us present our needs and our intentions before the Almighty Father. That the Church, as the body of Christ, be the way, truth, and life for all who come seeking salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations will search for ways to settle differences through peaceful means, avoiding violent conflict at all costs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of the Siena House and the Jesus, Mary, and Joseph House, and for all mothers and grandmothers in this parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us continually grow in our relationship with the risen Christ, so that we might be his presence for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all whose lives are disrupted by the coronavirus, for families who have been separated by quarantine or whose livelihoods have been jeopardized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Hugh Riley, for Giovanna Orlando, for Connie Coe, for Gino Pinelli, for Evangelina Escobar, for Mama Lola, for Petra Garcia, for Margarita Ibanez, for Annunciata Radici, for Hilda Guerrero, and the intentions of the COVID-19 healthcare workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us present our own needs and our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of faith. Listen to the petitions we present to you for those in need. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for your continuing generosity to our parish. We are in great need of your assistance. Everyone is invited to please join in singing, Your Words Are Spirit and Life.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effect in this sacrifice had made us partakers of the one supreme God ahead, grant we pray that as we had come to know you truth, we may make her ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, about all to love you most gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, show himself the priest, the altar, the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people that souls in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, proclaim together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> And to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as one for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send for you, Holy Spirit, to sanctify this gift so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the night before he was to suffer, and the evening of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, brought the bread and gave it 
to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and if of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we now celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and when you had seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show for the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant by that the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking in this mystery, O mighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be comfort to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bound of communion together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of your church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of their faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that share in their grief and pain, their joy and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along with the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to the rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our early pilgrimage is done that we may become to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise you and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us all offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But always say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Graciously be present to you people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you had imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our food pantry is open from 10 to 1 p.m. on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. If you or your neighbors and friends are in need of food, please stop by during those hours. We are here for you. Our weekly bulletin is available on our webpage. There are other informative articles and resources there as well. Father Martin and the entire staff of Holy Cross extend our greetings and best wishes to the mothers and grandmothers of our parish. There will be a special blessing for these wonderful women before the dismissal of today's Mass. I just want to piggyback on the bulletin announcement, that being that we have a bulletin. Um, Certainly, we invite everyone to continue going to our website, uh, holycrosssantacruz.com. Both on its first page, we'll have a link for our weekly bulletin, which is being updated with uh, writings by both fathers and myself, as well as our link for our donation page, which is very easy to navigate, including possible donations for our food pantry, which has been serving, I believe, the number was 15,000 families during this crisis, it is, we're doing tremendous work at, at Holy Cross. I'm blown away by this. The other announcement would be that we invite you to follow us on Facebook. I think most of you are watching us via Facebook. If these live streams matter to you, if um, our videos mean something to you, continue to follow us on Facebook, but invite your friends. An impossible act of service might be to help create a Facebook page or account for someone who doesn't yet have one, so that they can follow a lot of the news of this parish. Thank you. So we're going to bless our mothers and grandmothers with this special blessing. Loving God as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be as strengthened as Christian mothers. Let their example or their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father. Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join in singing, Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen.